All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is the Earth Master out here about 10.43 p.m. California time, October 24, 2024 is the date. Latest activity shows a 2.1 earthquake onto the uh, Big Island of Hawaii. Well, man, I tell you what, we've seen a lot of earthquake activity out here today. And in some not notable spots, I would say, uh, definitely up here across the northern edge of the North American continent here, with uh, we had the activity in Northern California, Southern end of the Cascadia. Also that little spike there on the Cascadia itself, that earthquake coming in early this morning for a 1.5 in the Cascadia fold and thrust belt. Also some noticeable uptick going on up here across the Canada area. Uh, one earthquake showing up here from the USGS, that 4.6. But if you notice to the West here along the plate boundary, we got some, uh, some activity as well so this whole area getting strained out here and uh, that's just one of the regions that we've watched here uh, have an uptick in earthquake activity out here today getting things uh, put back into motion it looks like got that domino effect going on all across the uh, pacific plate and adjacent plates as well i would say um over here across the izu trench a pair of earthquakes stirring up out here as well that's going to be just back over here pretty, pretty shallow earthquake activity out here this morning 5.1 and a 4.6 also taiwan seeing some activity as well uh earlier this morning for a 4.2 alaska somewhat active as well across the aleutian trench there's that five pointer from just after midnight so this is about ready to drop off the earthquake 3d globe there and the 24-hour map um microquake activity out there for now across that region let's go ahead and check out what's going on here across the states minimal movement across the pacific northwest uh really nothing new well a 2.2 is about our newer uh, our only newer quake out here following all this elevated activity there from last night and this morning along the southern end of the cascadia uh, so still kind of watching it you know no one knows exactly when the next big one's going to happen you know to to say this is going to happen tomorrow at five o'clock in the morning yeah that's not going to be happening unless you got a, a magic crystal ball <coughs> which i don't <clears throat> all right so i'm trying to get through this i think i got me a little case of pneumonia that uh, was handed down to me from missy mimi's and the kids but that's okay we'll we'll get past it uh, Bay Area, fairly quiet. I was looking at the Hayward Fault here. There's a, there's definitely a decent chance here of seeing some larger scale activity. That's one of the more feared faults in the uh, Bay Area as that runs through the uh, highly populated East Bay region. Uh, very capable of producing, um, you know, a decent magnitude. Uh, upper six, maybe lower sevens out there. The last one was back in 1868. Average intervals here of large earthquakes run on average of about 140 years and it's been 144 years or more i don't know when this article was put out here but uh yeah it's definitely i would say overdue uh, in terms of seeing a you know a significant large earthquake out there uh, right now it's pretty quiet uh, we got one earthquake on it i guess 1.3 something to watch there it's just off the plate boundary that's a well, one of the branches there that branch off the I mean, uh, San Andreas Fault there. Southern California, Ridgecrest area seeing some movement. It looks like a 2.1 in the last hour. Uh, getting a little bit of notable uptick here across the Garlock Fault shear zone. Death Valley area seeing a three-pointer, 3.1 earlier this afternoon. I think that's the only notable quake there. Uh, well, 2.5. This uh, looks like just about noontime here, local time earlier today. Uh, but aside from that, most of this movement out here, generally microquake activity. Nothing of any major concern yet. No major swarming going on. Uh, just a little bit. This was, uh, yeah, this was just after midnight um, and late last night. Roughly about the same time that we were seeing that swarm up here in Northern California. So the strain was on, uh, you know, and I... It, it's notable it's definitely noticeable as well when i when i see you know one area of the plate boundary active and way down south here we got you know further escalation of earthquake activity about the same time that's an obvious regional strain view across a uh, strain uh, area across the uh, western areas of the state so um it was interesting last night watching it 
But uh, for now, nothing big going on, but who knows, right? No one knows specifically when a big one's going to hit. Yellowstone National Park, really not seeing anything major going on out there. Let me double check the uh, um, Yellowstone overview. I'm going to try and keep this a little short so I don't lose my voice. I've been kind of holding in there. A little earthquake here in the last hour or so near Purple Mountain, it looks like. That's going to be about 9 o'clock here. A couple, yeah, a couple hours ago. Um, that did show up across uh, the majority of the seismograph stations out here. Let's see, did the USGS report that quake? Nope, because this was at 9 o'clock in the morning, and we're talking about 9 o'clock at night, so they haven't they haven't even reported anything since uh, since this morning's update. But there is a little bit of earthquake activity out there. Nothing big. It's probably a two-pointer just looking at that seismograph station there and the readings that show up across the park. Estimated two-pointer. Uh, the rest of the country out there looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. Really of no concern. A big Island of Hawaii still seeing a little bit of movement up here across the upper East Rift Zone. Really nothing of any major significant change for now. Uh, we'll know about it when it does uh, start to kick up again. So elevated seismic activity all across the plate boundary here where it was somewhat quiet yesterday. I told you it doesn't stay quiet for too long. Uh, Papua New Guinea area and they're getting uh, hammered with some earthquake activity. Fours and fives. Uh, relatively shallow earthquake activity aside from this 4.4. Uh, that was 381 miles deep underneath the area, so a little bit of back and forth here between the uh, subduction zone quakes here and some surface adjustment. Uh, down across the New Zealand area, nothing major being registered there on the USGS map, and looks like maybe a three-pointer uh, earlier today around North Island. Aside from that, deeper quakes there along the Kermadec Trench. 3.3 coming in there, northern edge of the Java Trench off the coast of Sumatra. So, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a little bit active out here. 4.2 Curl Kamchatka Trench up there. Northern in. Nothing showing up here from the USGS map. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Def definitely some noticeable uptick here across this area of the plate boundary. Well inland as well. As uh, that strain is building up out here across the area. Let's check out Cascadia trimmer map here tonight and see what we have 39 epicenters of trimmer not a big deal that's really uh fairly minimal across the center portion here it looks like of the cascadia a little bit there in oregon but nothing major going on here for now across the cascadia but you never know right uh let's see anything else going on across the globe Man, I tell you, it's not cool being sick. I'm hoping to get past this real soon. Uh, pretty significant uptick down there in South America, I would say. Quite a few fives and fours. Uh, by the way, I don't know. I put out members video here talking about my dog uh, being very... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? He was acting a little strange here, being... Um, Oh, what's the word? Attachment. He, he was really attached to me today, following me wherever, wherever uh, like literally was trying to get in the house, trying to get in my car, trying to get away from something. And that's very abnormal for him uh, to be acting like that. So I know dogs can, uh, uh, I guess, predict or maybe potentially foretell earthquake activity uh, up to a day in advance. So we'll see what happens out here. But I haven't seen my dog act like that in a little while. Um, actually, I've, I've never seen him act like that. I heard a couple other folks out there having their dogs acting a little on the uh, unusual side as well. And animals obviously have to pay attention to what they are doing. They seem to have that uh, extra sense there to pick up uh, events um, prior to them actually happening out here. Maybe it's some type of um, who knows what, what goes on there in the... Uh, the quantum physics world before major events. But it seems like animals can pick up on it. Middle America Trench, there is a bunch of threes and fours in there. Again, a lot of activity stirring up here through the South America area. The USGS reporting a handful of those quakes. Some fives out there today. 
And obviously, uh, more than that, quite a few smaller quakes out there. Looks like that five-pointer just coming in uh, in the last 20 minutes or so. Well, 10.38 p.m. Oh, yeah, I see it right there. It's kind of a deeper quake blending in with all the other quakes out here. USGS not picking up on that earthquake yet, but it's, uh, it's out there. Showed up there on the Chile station, it looks like, a little spike of an earthquake. There's a spike on uh, Southern California as well. The Atlantic Ocean, quiet and clear. All right. Throat's starting to get that tickle, so i got to advance forward here. Um, yeah, definitely got some elevated activity out here. When things get elevated, that's when we need to be on guard because things start to shift out here. <clears throat> Space weather activity. There's our super massive X flare here from last night, or yesterday, I should say. Uh, we do have a chance here of a glancing blow from the CME that it produced. Not really expecting much. Maybe up around the G1 class storm, if that even happens. Not that big of an event. There's Aurora forecast there for tomorrow, uh, for Friday night. But again, I'm not really expecting too much of a, an impact from that CME. Had it been Earth directed, a little bit more... Um, advance here in the auroras would be uh possible but we do have a uh, quite a few active regions coming around the bend here looks like they've re renamed uh one of these sunspots that was out here last time around a couple weeks back a few weeks back 3873 3872 whole bunch of popcorn colors out here indicating quite the complexity going on this is the x flare area that popped off there yesterday and one of these is the culprit of the X nine pointer that popped off here last time they were out here. I don't remember which uh, area is is responsible for that, but uh, it's still the same sunspots with new growth and new uh, new companions out there. It looks like around the area. So this is a massive area we're going to have to watch here in the coming days. When it looks like this, folks, I'm telling you, that's when some big time flares can pop off, and uh, that's. Uh, uh, an interesting looking group to say the least. Elevated flare threat around 15% chance. M flare at 70. C flare around 99% chance or so. And it, uh, as you can see, it can pop up out of the blue, as we've seen here yesterday. Um, uh, fairly consistent C flare activity. And then just bam, big time long duration X flare out of the blue. So these things could pop up. Um, pretty much at any given time here. And with the advancement of these sunspots turning, uh, rotating into the Earth-directed view, that's uh, will be something to watch here, folks. Quite the area for sure, to say the least. All right, let's go ahead and check out numerical models out here. Uh, a couple different colder systems coming into the West Coast. Looks like we've got a little bit of shower activity. Uh, mainly just looking for some colder air pulling down into the Pacific Northwest in California, which I will take. Uh, still got that potential hurricane out there around the 4th or 5th of November. This model shows more of an offshore uh, hit compared to this morning's model, where it was basically slamming there into Florida again. Um, but the consistency of this is that something is forming out there and will be... Um, developing as we get into the first week of November and it's subject to change obviously with the weather patterns out here any little minor movement here in the jet stream and other patterns could shift this you know hundreds of miles away closer or further away from the states it's something to watch here as we get into uh, November all right I'm out of here, folks. Uh, my voice held up for the most part there. Hoping uh, this medicine is going to start kicking in there. I had to go on some antibiotics. Um, so I'm hoping it uh, kicks in real soon. I'm out of here, folks. I'm going to bed, getting uh, trying to get a good night's sleep here. It's hard to concentrate, you know, and do schoolwork and keep up here on the channel when, when, uh, when you're sick. I don't know if you've ever had a pneumonia or not. I had it once when I was, I think I was about 13 or 14. I was down for weeks. Missed a lot of high school back then. And um, 
not as bad right now, but I don't want it to be as bad. But I'm pretty certain that's what I have out here. All right. I am out of here. Have a good night, folks. We'll continue to watch things out here and uh, just go with the flow. I mean, kind of weird how my dog was acting like that. It's almost like he's like it was a Fourth of July event. He's not a big firework fan, and he'll he'll try to get inside the house. He'll try and jump in my car, and just get it, get as close to me as possible, you know, which I understand. But there was no fireworks or anything going off out here. No loud music. No loud noise. Just out of the blue, started acting like that. So something spooked him. Question is, is he going to be the earthquake forecaster or not? We'll see what happens here in the next 24 hours as far as local seismic activity goes. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Friday morning update, folks. Stay safe out there and have a good one.